sure I'm in the right place. Ha. Huh. Bear with me. Okay, there we go. Now I'm in the right place. And now I think we're connected. Facebook seems to be acting a little bit funny today. Hi there, Vesta. Vesta, I received your card. Thank you so much. That was so sweet of you, and I do appreciate it. I enjoy getting fun mail, happy mail, as much as the next person, so thank you. Hi, Carol Beth. Okay. Um, in Mondays, well, I should say welcome. I am Mary Nave, and I'm live today in my Stampin' Peace studio. It is Thursday, November 2nd. So happy November. Um, do you have your Christmas decorations out yet? I don't, but let me tell you, yesterday, um, after Emily got home from work, she sent a text to the family tree up, which was kind of fun. But um, not decorated, but she had it up and the lights on and she was excited about it. So I still have to get my Halloween decorations down um, from inside. I took them down from outside, but we had a great Halloween being it was Riley's first Halloween. We just had a lot of fun and um, I did share some pictures here on Stampin' Peace with Mary Nave, and I also shared them on my personal profile, just um, Mary Nave. So um, for those of you who asked, that's where you can find them. I hope you enjoyed a fun Halloween night. Readers or not. And I'm not sure what's going on with my internet, but it seems to... I hope I don't have to stop and start. It seems to... It's saying I'm connected well, but for some reason, it seems like it stopped a couple times. So I'll just watch it closely during the live. If you missed Monday's Facebook Live, or if you saw it but you want the details of the card we made, this is the Fun Fold Slimline card we made. The de all of the... Um, hmm. One second. No, oh, Facebook is challenging me today. Um, as I was saying, if you want the details for this Funfold Slimline card, it is up on my blog, stampinpeace.com, as of yesterday. Um, you can watch the video replay of the demonstration. Cutting dimensions are there. Um, supply list everything you need to remake that card, or if you just want to get the basic that as well. Okay. I do have one class to go available to order right now. And this uses the A Walk in the Forest designer series paper. I designed eight different cards for you to make with that class. And what I'm especially excited about with this A Walk in the Forest class to go is that it benefits Toys for Tots. So with the class, each per linen thread, as well as uh, a whole package of the A Walk in the Forest designer series paper. And Stampin' Up! is going to donate $3 from each of those packs of DSP sold to Toys for Tots here in the USA. Um, if you're in a different market, um, you'll have a different, um, charity that that paper will benefit, but it's part of our make a difference campaign. And I'm going to be doubling that. So for every class I sell and for every pack of the walk in the forest DSP that I sell, I too am going to donate, uh, $3 between Stampin' Up! and I. Um, we'll be donating together, we'll be donating $6 from each pack. So if you would like to order that class and help out Toys for Tots, um, please go to my blog, stampinpeace.com, and uh, click on that class information. You can get all the information there, and there's a link to purchase as well if you're interested. 
Also, so let's get started on today's uh, cards. I'm going to be showing you a one sheet wonder with this piece of All About Autumn Designer Series paper. And we're gonna use a little um, bit of two other sheets of that paper as well. But the focus will be that six by six one sheet wonder to create three different cards. I'm going to flip my camera around now. And while I do that, would you please share this live video and invite others to join us this afternoon? Okay, I apologize if the camera's off just a little bit. I um, did a quick FaceTime with one of my team members just a little bit ago, and um, what I was trying to help her with, it was easier to demonstrate through a FaceTime, so, and I had to bring the camera um, low to show her what I wanted to show her. So thank you for bearing with me. Some days, you know, the technology part is just... And for some reason, it keeps saying that Facebook or the internet keeps saying there's a little glitch or something. So we're just going to do the very best we can. Shireen, thanks for watching all the way from South Africa. I'm so glad you're here along with all the other people watching. The first thing I'm going to do with this piece of designer series paper is cut off. And if it is, if you're using a paper that's directional, um, have your top, know what you're okay before you start cutting. For me, I'm using the geometric side, so it really doesn't matter all that much. But do save this three, uh, um, three quarter inch strip because we will be using that for our third card. Then I'm going to turn this back into the horizontal position. So now I have five and a quarter inches top to bottom and six inches across. And I'm going to cut at the four inch mark. And it's as simple as that. So let me grab the pieces for my first card. We're going to love this. I promise, I guarantee. So my card base is Okay, why is my camera so off today? Um, my card base is five and a half by eight and a half inches. I scored it four and a quarter down the center on the long side. I have a piece of, and this is going to be a horizontal card for this first one. I have a piece of very vanilla cardstock. You know, I'm not gonna put the stamping first. And for this, you'll want some scrap paper. I'm using the large maple leaf, and I'm going to stamp off on this at least twice, maybe even three times till I get a very light shade of this copper clay color. Yes, that's what I want. Very, very light. Oops, I got lots of dots there. I held it too long. Let me try again. One, two, I'm just going to just kind of give it a simple press, not push so hard. Oh, much better. See the difference? When I was pressing hard, I was getting ink that was left um, in those tiny little dots in the negative space. And I eh, it just didn't look as nice. Here, I just gave it a gentle press with a flat hand, flat fingers instead of pushing hard and what a difference it makes. Then I'm going to add a sentiment. And this you could stamp in the same color at full strength, or you could even stamp the sentiment with a darker color, perhaps um, early espresso, something like that. 
Oh. The inside of my card base. And as usual, this measures five and a quarter by four inches for our inside. So here I have um, just a nice simple greeting on the inside with a little bit of a decorative touch with that maple leaf. Next, I'm going to take my five and a quarter by four inch piece of designer series paper that I cut from that six by six one sheet wonder and adhere this early espresso card base. Now, I've pulled in another uh, designer series paper from the All About Autumn set. And this measures, let me double check. Yes, four and a quarter by three inches. Four and a quarter by three inches. Hi there, Carol. And I'm going to um, mat it on a piece of early espresso that measures four and three eighths by three and one eighth. But I'm not going to mat those just yet. I'm just gonna use the tiniest bit of adhesive to hold these two pieces of paper together. And I do want to have a nice even border all the way around. And then I'm going to do a little die cutting for you. I love that all of the dies for the Autumn Leaves Bundle fit into the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. Just because I have my mini um, actually to the right, but on the occasion that I'm using dies that are too large for the mini machine, um, it's just a few feet away. My big machine is just a few feet away. But I like being able to use my mini machine for demonstrations because it doesn't take up quite so much space for you and it's easier to see. So now this is what I have left, okay? And I'm going to remember how we adhered these a little bit, rub those off so they don't stick right now. But I'm setting aside the leaves. I'm setting aside the leaves for my second One Sheet Wonder card. On this though, I'm going to raise up so I'm using the negative space for my first One Sheet Wonder card. Okay. You can use the regular size Stampin' Dimensionals, if that's what you have. Either size will work. I just happen to have the little ones handy and I have to pull out another package of my large dimensionals. And then I'm going to set this right on top. Now the leaf shapes should match up and then I should still have a nice, very small border of early espresso around that. And when it looks good to you, just press it with your hand. And then I'm going to adhere this to the center of, put some of these right here my card base, my card front. I'm going to add some embellishments and a little bow. This is from the Essentials Twine Pack. There's five colors in here and I'm using the very vanilla color 
from that package. And I'm just gonna do a simple double bow near the bottom of my maple leaf. So that package of essential twine um, I, has five different colors of neutrals, okay? Five neutral colors of twine. And the knot of this bow is a pretty good size. So I'm going to put a mini glue dot behind the knot. And then I've got, now these tails are a little bit long, but that's okay, because it I think it'll look nice even when they pull it out of, whoever gets it pulls that out of the envelope. But I am gonna trim them just a wee bit. They seem a little excessive. But really, it's your, your own taste. I just didn't want the bow itself to be too small. I think I like that just as it is. Now I'm going to give you a choice here. And just before I went live, I did check the um, inventory status report on the demonstrator site. And both of these um, embellishments are in stock. I know there's a number of them that are, are out of stock right now from the annual catalog. The first is the 2023-2025 in color dots. And the other is the brushed metallic adhesive back dots. So I'm gonna give one of you a choice. Who um, has a preference? And it could be the copper clay, it can be the wild wheat color. And on this one, I would either use the gold or um, more of the, I don't know what you would call that. Metallic look, brush metallic look. Anybody, which one, the dots? They're both dots. Oh, Kathy says the wild wheat. Okay, Kathy, you were pretty quick on the fingers there, so I'm gonna go with yours. And I'm going to do, think. And this is the five in colors. You can see I've used um, the, Moody Mauve and lots of the Pebbled Path dots. But I'm using, each of them has three sizes, large, medium, and small. So for this one, I'm using one medium and two smalls. I think that looks really pretty. Good choice, good choice. But like I said, any of those would work well. All right, now for our second card, We'll be giving away the three cards today. Hey there, Andrea. I, or Andrea. I have an Andrea spelled the same way, but this is Andrea. So I have to remember to say it correctly. But I recently met Andrea at a craft retreat I was in last week up in Oak Harbor, Ohio, near Lake Erie. So that second piece of DSP that I cut from my six by six one sheet wonder is two inches by five and a quarter. Put all the information and the replay video on my blog in the next day or two, I will have templates for you for the one sheet wonder and the cards. Okay, so I'm just adhering that so it has an even border of very vanilla cardstock around the top, bottom and left side. I am going to mention that four card bases in white and vanilla cardstock, okay? So thick, very vanilla or thick whisper white I use for card bases. For stamping, for layers, that sort of thing, I use the regular very vanilla or whisper white. Um, the thick stands up better than those regular ones, okay? And now... I've got these two leaves. I'm gonna bring this in. Went ahead and took the liberty of doing a little die cutting before we went live. I just, because I like to be respectful of your time, 
But this is the die I used from the Autumn Leaves collection. And I cut out two of the maple leaf veins with the copper clay cardstock. So, and remember the maple leaves are what is left over for the first card. And I used just the negative space for that card. So I'm going to use my multi-purpose glue very, very, very sparingly. I mean, I'm hardly dotting it at all. I'm just kind of push a little bit out and kind of drag it along. And you do not need the adhesive on every single one of these branches. Just kind of space out that adhesive. Oh. I have no idea what is wrong. I don't know if it's Facebook or the internet. I've checked my phone and my computer. They both say they're connected to the internet well. I don't know if it's Spectra's working in the area, but I'm sorry if it's kind of glitchy on your end going on and off. And, or if it's just my end. Oh, Jenny, I'm excited to hear that you'll be making these beautiful cards. Look at the difference, this simple layer of the leaf dies. Okay, Carol, thank you. Sometimes we just have to, um, yeah, everybody's is freezing on and off. I have no idea why. And it's always hard, too, if you don't, Sometimes it's a Facebook glitch. Sometimes it's an internet thing. I'm just glad we haven't gone out completely, and I'm hoping I may. Oh, thank you, Gail. Thank you, all of you, for your understanding. Because when you're doing a demonstration, or I'm doing a demonstration, it can be very frustrating to have that happening. So on these leaves, I'm just popping them up with a few dimensionals like that. Okay. I am going to stamp and we're here. I'm gonna stamp on here because this is a photopolymer stamp set. And in my copper clay color, I'm going to stamp, I'm thankful. And then I'm going to switch colors and use some early espresso ink. And before I adhere this to my card front, I'm actually going to stamp a tiny sentiment right across the bottom here. And this one says, uh, so it'll say, my card, my card front will read, I'm thankful to have a friend, to have you as a friend. I'm thankful to have you as a friend. So I'm just gonna stamp this at the bottom of the very vanilla half. And then, Add this with a few dimensionals, if I can find where they went. Here they are. Does that happen to you? You have so many things on your craft space and you put something down, but you just can't seem to put your finger on it the next time you need it. Ah, standing next to me who would hand me things and take them back as I was working. <laughs> I know that's quite a luxury. I'll have to sell a whole lot more stamps and good paper before that ever happens, that's for sure. But it would be ideal. Who knows, maybe the time Riley is a preschooler, she can be my little my little assistant standing next to me. I don't know if she would know all the, what all the products are. Okay, so there is 
our second card. Judgments again. Wild wheat, copper clay, or want or the gold or rustic metal. Any thoughts? Oh, I'm so glad you all like the card. Cards, I should say. Any thoughts? Which embellishment should I use this time? Jan, thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Thoughts on embellishments? I saw copper clay come up. So that's what I'll do. I have to kind of plan what I'm doing here. So I think I'm going to do, let's see. Do in small up here, and then a medium copper clay dot right about there. I love how that turned out. What do you think? Love it. You know, Sharon, gold would have been perfect too. Absolutely. That's what I love um, with our Stampin' Up! products. They're so versatile, and um, it's easy to also interchange especially embellishments, um, easy to interchange them. Okay, and we have one more card. Now, piece of, again, I'm using very vanilla thick card sock for the card base of my third card. I've scored it at four and a quarter on the long side, but before I fold it, I'm also going to score this one at three and a quarter. Now you don't have to, you don't have to put the second score line in, but if you do, you can turn it into a simple fun fold card by doing this. Oh, one more thing I have to do. I want to cut this down to, okay, so out of that six by six piece of cardstock that I started with, this is all I have left, this tiny little thing, which you might even put on the inside of a card, You, I don't know, maybe you save those little pieces to do something abstract with. So I folded it in half, and then I'm going to fold on the other score line and give that a really good crease as well. The next thing I'm going to do is adhere that one inch strip of vanilla to the back side of the card base. Okay, so this now is my fun fold card. I'll get the design, if you're not into fun folds, the design of this card is perfectly fine on a standard card front. But if you are into fun folds, especially easy fun folds, I prefer the easy fun folds that I can um, make a lot of rather than ones that get real complicated. Now I have a coordinating piece of designer series paper. And then this is from a second piece. This is not part of my one sheet wonder. Okay. This is a second piece of DSP I pulled. It's not part of the one sheet wonder. It just so happens to be the reverse side of the um, sheet I used for that six by six one sheet wonder. And I'm going to cut it down to five and a quarter inches. So this measures three inches by five and a quarter. And I'm going to adhere this to that larger size of my card front. But you can see now how this is a great layout, even if you just want a plain standard art. Adding that one score line by adding that one score line we've made it into a simple fun fold card so let's add <clears throat> a sentiment 
and then some embellishments to this card. And for this, I'm going to stamp in copper clay, and this time I'm going to stamp with a grateful heart. I'm going to add this with dimensionals. And while I'm doing that, think again about what embellishments you would like to see me use on this last card. So far we've used wild wheat and we've used copper clay. Jenny, thanks for um, giving the, to me that is a must have in the craft room. It is a place for all the icky, sticky, adhesive to go instead of on your craft surfaces. Um, and it's super easy to clean off. Okay, I sold gold pop-up first. Gail, much more. Okay, so let me add a few. Remember when we're adding embellishments in odd numbers. And I think I'll do another small one. I'll go right about here. Oh, love it, love it. Okay, so that is three cards from one six by six one sheet wonder. Okay, three cards from a six by six one sheet wonder. And like I said, I will post the template for the One Sheet Wonder and the um, and the card layouts, okay, the card sketches. If you hear card sketch, card layout, um, it's just kind of mine, all right? Um, let me flip my camera around for just a moment here. 